hi uh, i'm back uh, about uh, an hour later and we have all kinds of backup that happened we're looking now at the backup monitor of cpm i'm going to filter by our uh, policy of interest web serve and we can see the three backups which makes sense because there's one every 20 minutes we can see that each one uh, begins and ends in this in a minute except the first one that probably the snapshot took more time to complete because they were full snapshots. Uh, we can see that they are successful. We can see that we have consistency, yes, on all of them, which means that the backup consistency method, uh, aka the backup scripts, were uh, run and completed successfully. We can look at the backup log and see the exactly what happened. We can see that it started. We can see that the before script ran snapshot started after script ran snapshot completed and then complete script ran so it all ran without any issues now uh, let's see how we recover from it okay so uh, first of all we have our uh, Joomla server which resides on uh, availability zone US East 1A let's say that it's for some reason it doesn't exist anymore I'll just stop it now but it can crash, it can be terminated by mistake, it can, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe there's a problem with the availability zone, 1A right now. And I want to recover uh, a new server. Right now if I look at the server and I, I'll hit refresh, it will not refresh, it will take a few seconds and it will uh, say it cannot refresh because the server is down. So, what I'm going to do now is going to go to the latest one, of course I can choose whichever I want just makes sense to take the latest uh, consistent backup we have we can see we have the uh, instance and the line here which it means that this instance was backed up in this specific backup we have in external data the output that was captured from the script so if I click on any of them I can see the output the script did to standard error uh, of course it's not very knowledgeable here but uh, you can in your own script give much more data if you wish to do so and I'm gonna hit uh, recover instance I'm gonna leave everything as is uh, maybe just change one more I'm taking the the system from the snapshot of the uh, of the system uh, volume I can I can choose image instead but I'll leave it as is and I'm gonna just change the availability zone to 1B because if there's a problem 1A I probably want to recover it to a different availability zone and I'm gonna hit recover instance and OK wait a few seconds and we can see this very very fast recovery operation succeeded so we have a new server with all the tags, the configuration, the EPS volumes, everything that the old backed up server had or instance had we have now in the new one Let's just hit uh, refresh here, and we'll see if uh, we we'll wait a few seconds. Okay, I'll just put here running so we won't be confused, and we can see a new Joomla server running. Again, if I uh, if I hit now, you can see the old one still exists because I only stopped it, but. The new one is the one we care about, and if I click on it, I can see that it has the same name. Uh, I can look and see that it uh, it now it's now in US East B one B, which means that it's uh, it's in a different availability zone. I can click down and see that it has two block devices, so the block devices were recovered from the snapshots. So we have everything we need. Of course, if I have an Elastic IP or a uh, name with the dynamic DNS, I can I can redirect it automatically everything to the new server. But for the sake of this demo, I'll just take the new address and I'll click here. As you see, can see it couldn't load because the old server is down. And I'll just click paste in the address of the new server, and it's not loading yet. Uh, probably because it hadn't finished booting. So. We'll wait a few more seconds and we'll see how it loads. Not yet, let's look at it a minute. So it's already running. 
Let's see, we took the right dress. Maybe I took another one by mistake. And we can see the page loaded and this means we have a server up and running with the latest consistent backup and the latest can be from only a few minutes ago, it depends on the frequency of the backup we're taking. So this was a, a video tutorial about how to uh, how to back up in an application consistent manner a Linux server or Linux instance with MySQL running on it. And uh, I hope it was knowledgeable. Thank you very much. Bye.